Let's talk about first for a woman who has never done any testing before. One of the biggest questions I receive are which hormone should I be testing? Yeah. And, and even, and it's usually followed by wh and where do they come from? Like where do, mm -hmm. where do hormones even come from? Right. So let's actually start at those two, uh, uh, guideposts and then we can, then we can get into some of the specifics around estrogens and testosterone. And I love this question too, because, and, I, and I, I've said this before, uh, a couple of years ago, my mom, who is my biggest fan said to me, I love reading all your social media, but I don't always understand it. In fact, I don't even really know what a hormone is. And I was like, well, I failed. Yeah. <laughs> I have failed. My mom has no idea what a hormone is. Oh my goodness. So um, hormones are basically just messengers, right? They're, they're, they're basically little signals that get sent out from various glands in the body to, to usually to do something, to turn it something on, activate something, catapult something. That's what a hormone does. We have lots of areas of our body that make hormones. We call them glands. So we have adrenal glands. We have thyroid gland. We have the pancreas, we have ovaries, men have testicles. So we have, we have glands in our brain that make the original signaling hormone uh, that goes downstream. And so we have all these glands and they communicate with each other like you know my teenagers do on Snapchat all day long to figure out how to move yourself forward, how to handle your fatigue, how to get your cycle regulated, how to deal with temperature, how to you know handle your hair, your skin, your heart, your blood sugar, I mean, it, your bones. It's, they literally handle everything in your body. So when women say, I feel hormonal, what hormone should I test? Usually when it's related to their cycle, their period, they're talking about estrogen and progesterone. That's usually what they're talking about. So estrogen and progesterone follows a rhythm for women who are still getting the menstrual cycle or are of an age, they should still be cycling. The estrogen and progesterone go up and down a little bit like a roller coaster, but it's supposed to be a like literally like a roller coaster on a track, like it's a set track, it goes up and down every month. So when we test hormones, we're looking for women predominantly at testing them in the second half of their cycle. So if your period is day one, the first day you bleed is day one, most women generally get their hormones checked days 19, 20, 21, because we're at a certain point on the roller coaster track and, and it's a very set point. We know the reference ranges for that point. We know what to expect at that point, and that's why we test there. Now, it's not a set, not set in stone for every woman. We because we some women have longer cycles, some people women have shorter cycles. Some people don't cycle at all, and they can't figure out what's going on. And so we we just have to adjust the testing days a little bit. Right, and that's now, for testing specifically, or would you say that's true across the board? All across the board, saliva, blood testing. You know, women are listening to this and go, "Oh, you know what? I have a OBGYN appointment tomorrow. Can I ask for a blood test for?" Can I get my estrogen and progesterone tested? Yeah, you can. Just make sure you're at the right part of your cycle. Make sure you talk to your practitioner about where you are in your cycle and if that's the appropriate day to test.